Top 10 Don'ts When Crossing the U.S. and Canada Border 1. Shut Up, Part 1. Don't Try to Be Funny Border guards are not your friends, and it's highly unlikely they moonlight as talent scouts for comedy clubs. This is the wrong moment to make a buddy or tell jokes. Stay respectful and succinct, and save the compliments for the drive away from the checkpoint. 2. Shut up, part 2. Don't disclose more than you're asked. Answer all of the guards' questions, but avoid getting chatty about your plans if you don't have to. Thinking of catching up on some work on your laptop during your vacation, for example? Don't mention that. There's no such thing as an American working holiday visa, although there are plenty of options for working holidays in Canada, or for Canadians traveling to other parts of the world. If you're going to the US, however, best to say that your laptop is just for your fantasy sports and YouTube. Planning a trip to propose to your girlfriend? Congratulations, but... 3. Even your sex life matters. Don't mention that you're planning to marry a citizen or resident of another country when you're entering it. Even if you're in the middle of the appropriate application process, Talking about your romantic attachments will not warm the hearts of the border guards and it will get you flagged as a potential risk for illegal immigration. This goes for crossing the US and Canadian border in either direction. Say that you're visiting a friend and save the flaunting of your ring for the day when you're married or your citizenship and residency information is fully settled. 4. Develop a creative vocabulary. Don't be in a rush to explain every detail about the goods you're bringing with you, but know the risks of incomplete disclosure. It can be mighty tempting to bring a few extra items back with you from your trip without declaring them. You can push the limits of the personal exemption, see above for the exact amounts, or you can declare the extras and pay the duties. If you're pushing it, try to describe dollar values using words like approximately, about, or around if you're just above the personal exemption limits. Remove the tags and ditch the shopping bags and receipts. If you're searched and the agent finds something that you haven't declared, it's most likely that you'll be delayed and that you'll have to pay the duty. Hey, people forget the things they buy all the time, right? Mistakes can happen. If you push it too far, however, you get caught making a false declaration crossing to Canada. You might also have your goods seized, or you might have to pay a penalty, and that's an extra 25 to 80% of the goods value. The worst case scenario is that you'll lose the goods permanently, and you'll have your vehicle impounded. You'll also almost certainly find yourself subject to more intense scrutiny at future crossings. Getting caught with small amounts over the limit shouldn't have lasting repercussions, unless you're busted repeatedly. Now you know the risks. Govern yourself accordingly. Bonus tip. Never try to conceal anything you just bought at the duty-free shop. They take your name and license plate number and their database is coordinated with the border guards on each side. So lying in this case makes for a guaranteed delay. Don't do it. 4. Hey, it's me again. Don't lie about any history of being denied entry. This is probably the most foolish lie to attempt. Border agents will definitely know you have been denied entry, so it's extremely unwise to attempt to cover this up. Lying about this is the equivalent of fruitlessly holding your hand over part of the agent's computer screen. Don't bother. Follow the rules about the length of time you must wait before attempting to visit and tell the truth. And what about that computer screen? What do border guards know about you? Guards can access your criminal history, some of your health records, the names of your relatives, your tax status, any outstanding debts, your current employment status and location, and of course a complete history of where and when you've crossed the border. 5. A criminal mind, it's all I've ever known. Don't lie about your criminal past. If you've run into legal trouble, 
check to see if it's serious enough to prevent you from traveling. Each country has its own regulations on this, and most countries reserve the right to deny anyone the right to enter for any reason. If you are denied entry crossing from Canada to the U.S., consider applying for a U.S. entry waiver. If you're worried you can't enter Canada from the U.S., consider getting a temporary resident permit. The process rules and process for both the U.S. entry waiver and the TRP can be complicated and difficult, so you can always seek help. 5. Seriously? You again? Denied entry for five years. Don't try to cross at a different point on the same day if you're denied entry. The border guards on both sides will know that you've tried and failed to cross the border, and they'll know why. Deciding to change your story and trying crossing somewhere else once you've realized too late that you need a work visa for your trip will not fly. In fact, it will very likely lead to an entry ban of unpredictable length. This is an unnecessary risk. 6. Don't sweat it. Don't act suspiciously. Don't drive too quickly or slowly up to the checkpoint. Don't decide you need to change your clothes or stretch your legs or dump your trash once you're in line. Don't rustle through your belongings while the guard is questioning you. Save the M&Ms for later. Think ahead and take care of everything that you need to well before you arrive at the border. 7. You aren't Ray Charles. Don't wear sunglasses. Oh wait, are you in the Velvet Underground? Is this 1969? Didn't think so, cool guy. Take your shades off and make eye contact with the border agent. You aren't allowed to wear dark glasses in an ID photo, so don't bother wearing them when you're being matched with your photo ID. You'll seem shifty and rude if you leave your sunglasses on. Roll down your vehicle's window too. Think of it as taking off your car's sunglasses. 8. Illegal oranges. Don't bring prohibited fruits or plants. Check which fruits, vegetables, plants and other organic material that you aren't allowed to bring across the border and get rid of them. Now is the perfect time to gorge on those lamb chops. Pull over and fire up the camp stove. Right now there are relatively few restrictions on most plants grown natively in Canada or the US, with clear labels stating as much. But there are still plenty of restrictions on bringing food imported from the rest of the world across the border in either direction. Unless there's an enormous diseased animal carcass hidden in your luggage, the worst that could happen here is confiscation. That said, it's probably better not to stock up on groceries right before you cross the border of US and Canada. Check current US and Canadian regulations at the CBP and CBSA websites if you're wondering about that pear or slab of bacon. Here are the permissible items as of April 2013. Please note that the rules are subject to change and that they only concern products manufactured in Canada or the United States. If you are unsure, contact CBP or CBSA and always check with CBP or CBSA before traveling across the border with food. Type of product. Animal products, meat and poultry. Entering Canada. Animal fat or suet, 20 kilograms per person. Game animal carcasses, only with a hunter's permit or license. Provincial restrictions may apply. Processed meat, 20 kilograms per person. Packaging must be provided and proof of origin may be requested. Fresh frozen or chilled meat, 20 kilograms or one turkey per person. Packaging must be provided and proof of origin may be requested. Entering the United States. Meat products are not normally allowed. If you need to bring meat products with you, contact US CBP for any possible exceptions. Type of product, baby formula. Entering Canada, 20 kilograms per person must be commercially packaged, sealed, and for personal use only. Can be liquid or dried. Entering the United States. 
normally allowed provided it's commercially labelled and is intended for personal use. Type of product Baked goods and candies Entering Canada 20 kilograms per person provided they don't contain meat. Entering the United States normally allowed. Type of product Dairy products up to 20 kilograms per person but not exceeding $20 in value. Entering the United States most cheeses are allowed, other dairy products are not allowed. Contact US CBP for exceptions. Type of product, fish and seafood. Entering Canada, 20 kilograms per person, putterfish and Chinese mitten crab are not allowed. Entering the United States, personal amounts are allowed. Type of product, fruit and vegetables. Entering Canada, dried, up to 15 packages per person, but not exceeding 250 kilograms. Frozen, fruit, 15 packages or cans per person, but not exceeding 250 kilograms. Vegetables, 20 kilograms per person. Fresh, potatoes, 4 kilograms of US number one only, up to 15 packages per person, but not exceeding 250 kilograms, excluding potatoes. All produce must be free of soil, pests, leaves, branches, or plant debris. Please note that there are restrictions on some fruits grown in California, Idaho, Oregon, or Washington. If you are traveling into BC, further restrictions may apply. Check with CBSA. Entering the United States. Can and jars must be sealed amounts for personal use. Dried, certain dried fruits are allowed. When in doubt, ask or call ahead. Fresh or frozen, most produce that is grown in Canada is allowed. Produce that is not obviously a product of Canada is normally not allowed. Produce must be commercially labeled. Type of product, grains and grain products. Entering Canada, no posted rules. Contact CBSA. Entering the United States. All grains must be dehulled. Flour is allowed. Type of product. Spices, tea, coffee and condiments. Entering Canada. No restrictions. Entering the United States. Condiments allowed, providing they do not contain meat. Coffee is allowed if there is no pulp attached. Spices must be dried. Citrus leaves and seeds are not allowed. Lemongrass is not allowed. Many vegetable seeds and leaves are not allowed. Contact CBP for further details. Tea must be commercially packaged. Teas containing barberry and citrus leaves will be confiscated. 9. Attention Mafioso don't bring large quantities of illegal drugs or guns across an international border. I'm guessing that if you're a sophisticated criminal working as part of a large smuggling operation, you're probably not reading this. If you're into personal use or hunting, figure out how to find what you want on the other side of the border or fill out the paperwork required when transporting firearms and avoid the hassle. 10. Relax, it's not personal. Don't lose your cool. Now you get to be the cool guy. Relax, it's going to take a while to get across the border. You're likely going to be asked annoying and invasive questions. Even if you are prepared and law-abiding, you could still get searched, detained or interrogated. Your chances of avoiding discomfort and delay are greatly increased by remaining calm, polite cooperative and reserved. See you on the other side. Have a border tip or story of your own? Tell us about the time that you were interrogated over your groceries or what you do to make it across with your dignity and stash intact. Post your stories in the comments below. For more written content like this, check out immigroup.com forward slash news and check out our free tools. Find any embassy in Canada. 
Find legal support globally to get you to Canada. Pass your citizenship test. Canadian Immigration Self-Assessment